What's up guys, welcome to our channel. We are the Jirgis and this is our home. So this rig is a Keystone Raptor 423 toy hauler. Mm -hmm. It's 44 feet on paper, but 48 feet in real life. <laughs> we actually got this unit from Camping World. We searched on their website for a while for hundreds of different models. And then we decided to actually go in person to a camp Camping World location and we found this beauty. Yeah, and it's perfect. And we decided a toy hauler because we had plans of what we wanted to do with the back area to fit our family's demographic. So before this, we did have a class A and we loved it. We renovated it, it was our baby, but then we decided, hey, we're gonna have more kids and we decided to upgrade it to a bigger model. And so we found this. So we went big. We went, we went really, like big. really big. <laughs> yeah, we actually lived in this when we did the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and we crossed the country, what, two, three a times, times, a I lot. <laughs> and during that time, we took notes of, okay, once we have time and we can remodel it, this is what we wanna do. So we're excited to show you. So excited. If you guys have seen our previous videos, we've gone to through each room, but now this is like the whole reveal with its final touches. So without further ado, come on into our home. Welcome to our humble abode. All right, first room that we're gonna be showing you, our old master bedroom. We already knew the first time we saw this that we were gonna change this into our little girl's room. And uh, we did just that. Another reason that uh, we wanted this to be the girl's room is because of this. There was a king bed in here, we took that out. And we customized, built these bunk beds. And when we're customizing building these, we were like, what do we put on the end here? Do we do like a ladder? Do we do a reading nook? And then Bryce had this brilliant idea. Just lightning struck my brain. Can we just do like a staircase coming up? And we all thought of reasons why it wouldn't work. And then Sean and I kept talking, we grabbed some boards and he's like, actually, like, it works perfectly. One of our concerns was the safety of our girls when they're going up and down the bunk bed. So we thought, okay, if it's a secure ladder that's solid, but it's kind of in the way, because there's not a ton of space in here, this is just the perfect enough, they're solid, and he goes up and down them just fine. And we have some storage space in them as well. Mm -hmm. We have this cute little basket here. Our girls can put books here, or their snacks, or whatever they want to put up here. Right now we've got some shoes. Avi's favorite part is her light right here. These are touch lights, so it's nice for them. They can use that at night and then turn it off when they want. We're not gonna lie, you guys. I'm not completely done with this room because I cannot decide on wallpaper for the life of me. But I'm gonna do something here. So anyway, we built these bunk beds. We love how it turned out. We might add a few more things here. We did um, have this spray painted and we changed the handles so it just fit the vibe of the room more. Color of the year from Sherwin Williams. It's an evergreen fog, I believe. But we love how it turned out. This is exactly what our vision was and our girls love it. This did come with a TV already in the room. Excuse Day me. one, we turned it on and it works, but we've never used it. But now we're like, okay, maybe if we need to, if we have company, there's some separation with the room here. We can put on like a kid's movie up here. Mm -hmm. That's an option. Okay, let's show them the living room. You guys ready for this? This was a lot of work. This baby is my pride and joy. As you guys can see in previous footage, we had a couch and some cabinets and we took it all out. And so many of you are like, why'd you take out the cabinets? Where are you gonna have storage? Well, let me tell you, folks, we built a custom storage bench. Ta-da! We have our custom shoe storage. One of the things we hated about our RVs and walking into it is you take your shoes off and they'd be right in front of the door. Mm -hmm. But now we can put them right here and you can't see them. I have big shoes. It's just a problem. <laughs> and uh, these work great. You can throw them in quick or make them look organized. So we added some custom art from our good friend Ingram. We might add a few more things, but we really like how it turned out and we love our storage bench. It's also a cute little reading nook. We are close to the Tetons here. We're actually parked at our RV park, the park at Swan Valley. So if you don't have plans, come here. And if you do have plans, change them to come to this area because Swan Valley is probably one of the most beautiful places in all of North America. And so this is like, you're, you're close to here. Yes. Nellie and Renee, when they did this, that took a lot of work and planning. Custom cushion, you can watch the video to see how they did that. Custom everything. Yeah, and while well, this looks like shiplap, we took, it was two and a half millimeter board that we cut to be the size of shiplap and put on here, and then just white paint behind. And so it looks like shiplap, but it is much lighter 
for the RV. Speaking of shiplap, we'll rotate here to our fireplace. Yeah. I just love all of it. I'm like beeping my own horn. <laughs> there were so many levels to this fireplace. Like so many, so many different textures and it just didn't work. So we put a one panel of material board to level it all out. And then we did kind of the same thing here and we added our faux shiplap on here. And it turned out so good. We also took the cabinets out and added on our own open shelf. We increased the depth on them because That's this was, was so layered. Some of these cabinets that they had, you, you couldn't, couldn't even fit, fit a book in, in it. Like we had like boards. some random fireworks in that one. Um, <laughs> some playing cards, I think, in another. Yeah. Now we're able to use it more and it's more intentional, which is awesome. Plus, in the RVs, when there's too much detail, it feels a little more enclosed because we opened up the space with taking out the cabinets there, made this one layer, one panel. We took all the cabinets off right here and left these open to add yeah. decoratives. <sighs> That's how we feel about it. Yeah. We did love the couches that were in here. They were Thomas Payne from Lippert. They were great couches. Um, and they were heated. They had the little blue LED light. And that's cool, but our kids kept turning it on all the time. Yeah. So we got over that pretty quick. To keep the flow of the room, we wanted to have this couch. And surprisingly, it's really comfortable. So we're able to just chill when it's a, a movie night. Okay, okay, oh. go watch a movie. <laughs> we'll go ahead and link down below too. Or if you have questions, comment below where we got something. And we'll go ahead and answer that because that's what I love watching renovation videos of, oh, where'd you get that or how you did that? And we can answer these questions even more specifically on Instagram as well. So make sure you're following us there and we'll make videos to answer things if we need to. Yeah, a really simple thing that people can do when they renovate, obviously paint is a quick fix up, but also just like changing the blinds or adding curtains. That's exactly what we did. We added our own curtains for a special touch. Yeah. The border here took off the paneling and again, just had, this is two and a half millimeter board here. So it's light, made it look like one sheet. Some people make it an accent which is also cool. We wanted just to blend in. Taking off the balances because they also just make it feel, it feels more like an RV. Now it feels more like a home. All right, our blood, sweat, and tears went into this kitchen. Literally, like we cut our fingers on the tile and we're bleeding and I didn't we're cry. here all that. I for sure cried. Yeah. We actually had cabinets right here and they were great, but we honestly have enough space and because we are gonna rent this out this summer, we decided it to make their room more open. So we added open shelves and our own handles and we spray painted the cabinets so that they just looked really smooth and nice. One thing about this RV is that there's really not like a dining area. There's no like dining table. So we added these for now, but uh, this is what is going to happen. Go ahead. We are me. going to put some mounts here on the floor that'll be covered by the rug and then some legs, just like dinette legs that are in boats or RVs and then mount it here so that we can have a booth here to sit and eat or there. The table we got for it is currently under the couch, so it is part of the plan. It's just yeah. haven't got there quite yet. But anyway, um, to add some special touches, we did tile this on our own. What grout did we use? It's not actual tile grout. It is a type of silicone that we ended up going with. Because if you use real grout, if you're staying in a house that doesn't move, it works great. But because we are moving, that vibration, mm -hmm. it would break and not do well. So we had to use something that had a little bit more flexibility with it. So we'll link that stuff below. Cause I can't remember exactly the product. So one concern that we have if by adding tile and the people have asked us is the weight that we're adding. So you need to take that in consideration. Now this is a toy hauler. We're able to add about 3000 pounds in addition to what it already is. And we're definitely underweight still. We also took out the heavy furniture that was in here already. But to make sure the tile stuck here properly, we added a backing board behind it all because we didn't want to stick the tile to the wallpaper. That weight would slowly pull on the paper. So we did a big backing board. Now it's all kind of one weight. Also, it's tricky going around the curve of the windows. And so what we did is adding this uh, trim, made it square and just painted this black. So that it makes it look like the window's square, even though it's not. That was much easier so you don't have to cut around with the tile. An easier option, actually someone just messaged us yesterday on Instagram about peel and stick tile. That is a great option that you can do. In fact, we did that on our first RV. It's much easier, it's much lighter. You cut it, you stick it, and if you need to add more glue adhesive on the back, that works great. There was a peel and stick tile that we really loved, but it was too similar to this. We wanted some contrast, and when Nelly saw this tile, she fell in love with it, with that and the colors. 
The sink, uh, this was already here. We love it. This cover is amazing. Love it. Yeah. Love it. We can give the kids a bath in it. I love it. Yeah, it's so good. We were just looking at videos the other day. Avi was bathing in here while eating hot pancakes. She was three at a time taking baths in here. Works great for that. And we did change the hardware to go with the same flow. This oven is the same oven that was here. Works great. Microwave and convection oven. We love this fridge. So good. Huge freezer space, fridge space. And then up here, we painted up here, but we just left it as is. We're gonna have it as an extra sleep space for when people are renting this out or for a friend playing. or kids playing. Yep. These light fixtures, they came with the model. And we kept them because we liked them. Yeah. One of my favorite things. What? Oh yeah. Did my snack? Just turn on this, baby. This came stock and we thought it was funny, but it's actually convenient. <laughs> and finally, our master bedroom. Okay, so this room we thought was gonna be super e easy to renovate. Out of all the rooms, we're like, this is gonna be the easiest. All we had to do is just like paint, and not the case. So because this was a toy hauler and it was for like quads and motorcycles and whatnot, the flooring actually had tie holds that we thought we could just take out, but they were totally welded in, which props to Keystone for making such a good RV. And so we actually had to lay down a material wood again to even it all out and then we could add the final flooring that we put in. So that took some time, but also the siding had metal that had a million screws in there. And the metal was, you know, to keep the walls protected from the toys. There was a lot of silicone that was <laughs> stuck on it. And so that took hours upon hours getting out of the RV and it was kind of a hassle. We did all that. We were able to finally sand and paint the room. And then the couches that were below the bed we also took out. That also gave us more room to move the bed all the way down or all the way up. And then for clothes and stuff, we actually got this from Ikea, put it in, we bolted it to the ground. Bryce was amazing and moved the electrical around so that when you open it, there's a charger and everything. <sighs> you guys ready for what I love most about this RV? <laughs> so the bed moves up, just by a little touch of a button. And then during the day, we have our office space, we have an open deck so that when we are places like the beach or wherever, our master bedroom can have the most beautiful view. So we have our office during the day. We are gonna add a desk here that flips up so that we can work. And then we have uh, we have this. <laughs> this is my favorite part. This is the exact reason why you got the RV, let's be honest. Yeah, like no better way to just chill in your home. You walk out your master bedroom on your deck, private hot tub. Are you kidding me? I'm pumped how this worked out. 